uh, it was uh, written a while ago in 2006. Um, I wanted to make a film about um, friendships that transcend borders. Um, it was set at a time where, you know, in Los Angeles, since 9-11, there were, you know, people are closing their doors to people who are different from themselves. So I wanted a, a, a hopeful version of the world, uh, of the US. Um, so I made this uh, story about four characters from different parts of the world uh, who happen to be in LA and cross paths and uh, form very interesting bonds. Yeah, I met through the casting director. Uh, I was studying in LA and then the script came to my agent's desk. We read it, thought it was fantastic. And then I sat down with Munchi, and we had coffee together and tea. I drank tea, it was lovely. Um, and uh, we just, I, you know, I auditioned, and I auditioned several times as Guy, uh, the British backpacker, and then with several Julios. And then the chemistry was there. It just felt right, especially when I met Fernando. It was instant, and um, luckily she saw that because she hired us. And then we went on the journey. And I was, I wanted as much as possible to cast people that are authentic for the role. So his accent is true, you know, he didn't have to put on an accent. And uh, the, the uh, uh, Fernando's came all the way from, he flew in for the audition. Uh, I, he sent me a clip, I saw it, you know, and I really liked it. We were looking for, not uh, Chicanos, we were looking for Mexicans, Native. yeah. Mexican. Yeah, so um, the audition clip that I saw, I really liked it and he flew in and uh, the two of them did an audition together that was uh, like really amazing. The chemistry was great, so uh, that's how they all came on board. She said uh, she wanted like uh, a native Mexican, so he can experience as the character all this um, uh, cultural shock. And, uh, and I think it happened, <laughs> actually. Was it the first time you were here? Yeah, it was the first time working outside my country, so yeah. I saw the casting and I went to the casting place and I auditioned and I got the part. Mine was really straightforward. I was born and raised in California, so. I, I think uh, in the end, uh, after I have cast the parts, they, 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 they owned the characters, you know, they added a lot of themselves in it. They took ownership of the characters, you know, the way I worked with them. Uh, they actually had a lot of uh, freedom to, to give their own character a life and they did great. They took it over.